coming up in this video, we get a penalty that ruins our chance of a win. But before we do that, we're going to get into our qualifying laps from last video. For our first lap, we do a 201.8. Our second lap is a 159.2. Our third lap is a 159.1. And our fourth lap, we're actually down by about four seconds, uh, but we ran out of time, so it doesn't matter. So with our new qualifying time of a 159.1, this puts us fifth on the grid. So off the bat we get a run on Jay Vine straight away, as he was a bit slow off the start. As we try to go around the left hand side, it gives us a bit of a squeeze. And as we're side by side around the hairpin, we do manage to eventually get the move done. Thank god we're past him. As we're heading down the hill, I'm uh, I'm wary to not carry too much speed as it's easy to go off track like I do here. We, unfortunately we give ourselves a half second penalty. Oh. Making our way now towards the double left hander and we have a mini moment here after we decide to brake and steer at the same time. But we're still able to stick close to the three cars ahead of us. Fortunately for us, when it comes to serving our penalty, we uh, don't actually lose any places because Jay Vine has a penalty behind us. Korg has a two second penalty from earlier on in the lap, so we do manage to make up a lot of ground on him and actually get the overtake done heading into the tunnel. Run on Korg. Nice. All we need to do is stay with Possum now because he's got half a second. But this didn't matter too much because at the start of lap two, at turn one, Possum just forgets to brake, so we end up getting an easy overtake. Now we just need to focus on closing the gap to Warge out in front of us. So we're going to skip forward about a lap and a half now, and we've closed the gap to about seven tenths as he goes a little bit wide in the tunnel, and we uh, stupidly follow his line. But we're now going to get a run all the way down the pit straight and head into turn one. So as we're heading up to turn one, I pull out to the right hand side, which will then force us to the inside of the track. We do go a little bit wide, but we've managed to make the overtake stick. Now got just over a lap to go. Once we're around the hairpin, we have a quick look behind us just to see if the two cars behind us have a penalty, but unfortunately they don't. But this is where our race unravels and we do exceed track limits here, giving us a half a second penalty. Oh no! <laughs> As expected, when we serve our penalty, we do lose both places to Warja and Korg. However, we're hoping that on these final few turns that, the, that they both will fight each other. Looks like they are going to begin to fight each other in the tunnel. However, due to the tightness of the chicane here, me and Warja are having a little bit of a battle. And, uh, contact slows us down. However, Korg does gain half a second in front for our track limits. Oh, oh he's going to win. So as we're coming down the pit straight for the final time, we are about five hundredths to six hundredths yeah, off winning this race, which is quite unfortunate. It is a disappointing end to the race, but judging by my reaction, I'm severely disappointed by that. However, I wasn't aware that coming in second place did actually improve our driver rating, so we are now uh, B rank. So annoying. Unfortunately, I only had time for one lap due to the entry period ending. You're going to hear two other voices in this as well as my own as I was share playing this in the PlayStation party. We managed to do a 158.1. Uh, pretty much exactly a second. Now, this wasn't the first race that I had done as a B-rated driver. As if you've seen my YouTube short, of my, the first race did not go to plan and unfortunately finished last. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, the people are actually moving. So, for the start of this race, it's a very clean start from everybody. There's uh, unfortunately no overtaking from us until we get later down the hill, as we take a lot of unintentional oh. curb there. Is that penalty for Zeppi? No, I don't think so, man. Oh, don't break there, mate. Just let off, and we're heading into the second hairpin. There's usually chaos around here, so let's just wait and see what happens. Bye. Whoa, someone's at them rocks. As Zeke goes wide and Mac pulls off track and rams into AJT, managed to move ourselves up to sixth. However, Zeep behind us is getting quite impatient here for him, and he decides to try and force his way through when there wasn't really a gap to begin with. And unfortunately, after he makes contact with us, he ends up spinning and ruining his race. And he's just spun because he's made contact with me. Unlucky pal. Uh, is it right us? Unlucky for AJT, he actually gets another penalty for cutting the corner there, which puts him up to a second. Oh, he's got a second as well, unlucky. He got it right at the end. So we're now up to 5th place and about 2 seconds behind Zorin in front. However, those 2 seconds are short-lived. Oh my! What? <laughs> As he somehow bins it in the tunnel. He's not expecting that. And as we're starting lap 2, heading up to turn 1, we do go slightly wide here and send ourselves into a little bit of a skid. Oh, shite. Oh, he's had a moment as well, but he's got a better exit. This allows Artem behind to get a run on us, up on the inside. So we just let him have it, there's no point in ruining both of our races at this point. Heading up towards the hairpin and Ayrton breaks far too early. He broke way too early. And we easily gain that position back. Yeah. He's gone wide. Skipping ahead to the start of lap 3 now. Hopefully those two can keep battling up front. Yeah, I'll bring them into your grass. However, this turns into a reality very, very quickly. As Philippe spins, slowing hybrid theory down, oh, but there it is. Oh, oh, hybrid theory also has a half second penalty. Oh, I thought he was going into me then. So, when it comes to hybrid theory serving his penalty, it's just enough for us to manage to get ahead of him as we enter the braking zone for the tunnel. It's not the last clip, we're going to fast forward to the next lap where Hybrid Theory is about half a second behind us. So we have a quick look behind us just to see if he has a penalty. Oh, he's got half a second as well! <laughs> Now this guarantees us to get P2, provided we don't make any mistakes. Oh, he's all over the place now. I stole his composure. Yep. I mean, I don't really care that we're six and a half seconds behind the guy up front. Yeah, P2, man, that's probably your best result. Yeah, your it's best definitely. We do end up finishing in second place. This is our best finish in the B driver rating so far. Yes! Get in, Lewis. Excuse the cringy comment there. Get in there, Lewis. Oh, sorry. That was such a good finish for the race. It was a good one. P5 to P2. I'll take that. Well, P2, that's a fantastic way to, uh, to end this video and end this set of daily races. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.